our gym focuses on boxing, but the truth is uh, it's much more than that. Border Patrol agent Edgar Sandoval volunteers his time at the Community Youth Athletic Center in National City, training kids in boxing and teaching them lessons in life. Once they're here, they build a family, a build a relationship. We're uh, able to uh, integrate them with law enforcement and show the positive sides of uh, policing. June is National Safety Month, and keeping kids safe means keeping them away from drugs, in particular fentanyl, according to District Attorney Summer Steffen. This is the place that provides hope and counters the effect of isolation, mental health struggles, and then with kids then seeking fentanyl that is ending them in hospitals and in the morgue. The boxing program has made a real difference in the lives of young adults like Angel Marquez, who started coming here at the age of nine. I started working out, lost weight, I feel better about myself, and then I started, as soon as I turned 18, they offered me a job to, um, to tutor the kids and help them out. Kids who started out in the program are now helping other newcomers. It's really made me want to invest myself more in these kids because they do grow on you. Genevieve Ramirez recently started working as a youth coordinator at the center. You want to see them grow up and do, be the best they can be, and you see them for the potential they have, but they are influenced by their friends at school or social media, so I'm very happy to be here to be helping them out, and I hope to be here for a long time. The annual fundraiser for the Youth Athletic Center is the Battle of the Badges, coming up on June 17th where members of law enforcement and the military have boxing matches in a ring set up on board the USS Midway Museum. If you want more information on getting tickets for that event, we've posted a link at CBS8.com. In National City, David Godfredson, CBS8.